over time, things happen. If you're in the technology field and you're building a company, something's going to happen to disrupt you. And how you react to that disruption becomes important, right? In our case, in 19, well, let me back up a little bit. During the 1920s, we started building electromechanical or mechanical and then electromechanical devices that captured data, tabulated data onto punch cards. People may have seen punch cards in, in history books. They used to actually use them here at the university when I was here, but um, those punch cards were then stored into boxes and that was the data for your program, right? Those da that data was then stored in warehouses and all the boxes were stacked up and all those cards became the first data warehouses. We still use that term today, but they were physical places full of cards, right? Those cards were IBM's profit. We had a classic razor and blade strategy where we sold tabulating equipment, but we made all our profit off of the cards. It's the same business model that HP printers use today with the ink that goes with the printers. The printers are free, the ink costs a lot of money, right? So we were making a lot of money off cards. 1947, one of our research engineers heard something disruptive. And what they heard was the recording of human song voice on a magnetic tape. And they thought about it and said, if I can put voice on magnetic tape, I can put data on magnetic tape. Well, that becomes a disruption, right? Because if all of a sudden you have an invention, a technical invention that disintermediates your entire profit stream, you now have a disruptive problem, right? We made a corporate decision at that point that we needed to move to the future and not stick with the past. We moved to putting data on tape. Well, when you have data on magnetic tape, you start to need electrical, electronic computers to read the data off the tapes and it started to usher in an era of programmable computers, electronic programmable computers that became general purpose business tools. 